I want to give a message to all the Bar Mitzvah boys. I know this is a hard time. My son just became Bar Mitzvah last week. Baruch Hashem. I know this is a hard time. Many times we forget that for the Bar Mitzvah boys, they had a lot in mind. You practiced a, a Parsha. Many of you were looking forward to your family and your friends being there. Many of you had parties planned. Many of you were looking forward to getting an aliyah in the shul that you grew up in. And now when the virus hit and people were stuck in the house, your, your bar mitzvah wasn't exactly how you had it in mind. But I want to share with you something. I heard this from my Rebbe. You know, Claudius got the Torah twice. This Parsha coming up, this Yantiv coming up in a few days is Shavuos. Shavuos is the time we remember Matan Torah. And it was the biggest party ever. I mean, Hashem knows how to throw a party. And he has the unlimited budget. Lightning and thunder and angels. I mean, we rented an entire desert to do it. Like everyone was listening to us. Like it was the biggest day ever. There's no party ever as bigger as Matan Torah. And those luchos lasted, what, 40 days? They didn't, they didn't go too far. Then we got the Torah again. When? Yom Kippur. Moshe comes down, 40 days. And he's got the, he's got the luchos in his hands. No big party. No big laser light show. No thunder and lightning. Moshe comes down with the luchos and the Jews are forgiven. And even that we have a yantif for. A yantif is called Yom Kippur. You don't see on Yom Kippur we do anything for getting the luchos. The second luchos are hidden. They're quieter. I'm sure there was some welcoming for the luchos when Moshe came down. But it was quiet. And those luchos lasted forever. Marif said, many times in life when things begin a little bit quieter, they have this extra bracha, let's say, to be nitzchi, to be eternal, to last longer. Why would that be? I want you to hear this. Because in life, a simcha, an event, the things that we have are just surface. What we really want in life is not the party. What we really want in life is how we feel when we walk into the room of the party. What we really want in life isn't just the aliyah. What we really want in life is the feeling of connection and the feeling of, of, of the ruchnius of the aliyah. What we really want in life isn't that we walk into a room and everybody cheers our name. What we, what we really want is to feel the love of other people. We may not be able to articulate it, but we want to feel good. We want to feel accepted. We want to feel people love us. We want to feel that we've accomplished. We want to make our parents proud. We want to be good kids. We want to feel cool. We want to feel that we're the center of attention. There's so many things that we want to feel. And the way we're going about it is parties and aliyahs and all the usual things that are wonderful for our mitzvahs. But when Hashem makes it quieter, you know what has to happen? You have to still maintain that level of simcha. You have to still maintain that level of love. You have to still feel good about yourself, but you don't have the usual party around to do it. It's so much harder. So you know what you got to do? You got to dig into a deeper place. You got to become more pimimi as a person. You got to find the excitement with just a few people in your house. You got to feel the love of Hashem without the big aliyah. You got to feel like the love of your friends without the big party. That means you got to work a little bit harder to keep that simcha, to keep that excitement going, even though you have less, even though it's quieter. And if you do that, though, what happens is you're bringing out your soul and you are becoming more nitzchi, more eternal. You're not relying on the outside world to feel good. You're not relying on the outside world, outside world to give you simcha. You're not relying on the outside world to make you feel like you've accomplished because you're working on yourself. You don't even know it. You don't even realize it. Things that are hidden make us more of a panini person. 
and it's becoming that type of person. When you're young, can you imagine you had this at 13? It's going to last you a lifetime because the true joy in this world comes from the inside place. The true accomplishment in this world is an inside feeling. It's the relationship we have to Hashem, to our family. It's the ability to be happy without the world telling us that we're great. You know something amazing? The first time, there was lightning. It was amazing. The second time we got the luchos, there was one thing that we, we saw that was different. Moshe's face was glowing because Moshe went to a hidden place. Moshe worked internally to bring out the luchos from a deeper place, and he was glowing from it. The Gemara says, In bracha metzuya ela davar, you know where you want to see real bracha? Things that are hidden. In many ways, you guys have been given a big gift. You may not feel like it now, but if you stick with this, you'll see it. You've been taught at your age how to be besimcha without the world handing it to you. You've been forced into a world that needs you to become pnimi. Your entrance into Klal Yisrael is the entrance of the second luchos. My bracha to you is that your life should be a life of nitzchias, of being eternal. You should live a life where you draw your happiness and your feelings of success and accomplishments from the inside, from your soul, from your relationship to Hashem, from your relationship to your close family, from your relationship to yourself. And if you do that, I believe in my heart, you're going to look back at that bar mitzvah the one that took place during this period of time, and you're going to be known as one of those few selected by Hashem to learn the lessons of Panemius early in your life. You look back and you're going to say to yourself, it was then that I started down the journey of true simcha, true happiness. You should be zochet to have a big mazel, big mazel and brach should come to your bar mitzvah. And your entrance to Klal Yisrael, since it started in a Panemius place, should continue with Panemius and Chitonius. And I'm sure, I hope, it's Shem the Mashiach comes. You're going to be one of those bar mitzvah boys from all over the world. And maybe, just maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe Mashiach comes and we're dancing and singing. Maybe Mashiach is going to turn around and go, all the boys, all the boys that didn't have bar mitzvah come into the middle. But even if not, who you are and what you become if you learn the lessons of having a bar mitzvah in this period of time of panemius, be bigger and better. You should have that for yourself and for your family. We should be zoch to see Mashiach soon. Mazel tov.